That bald is by half, by half idiot. He'll he'll be running through a fence here for long. We'll be having to get a horse and go rope him. Again, grinding corn, again, come a little sprinkle last night, again, soybean harvest delayed, again, 100% chance of rain tomorrow, like 80 the next day, so two days of rain chances. Somewhere around 380 acres of soybeans to go. But today we're making uh, some cattle feed. The cattle feed is lots of, is, will be similar to the hog feed, except we won't put as much corn. We will grind some hay. We will put quite a bit of hay in this mixture beef concentrate, we will put some molasses in it, and we are going to uh, put this in the uh, self-feeder or creek feeder, whatever you want to call it, and I've got some uh, 700 pound steers down at Daddy's, we got to go separate them, we're going to separate them out, bring them down here, put them on full feed. And uh, they're going to be our next beef calves. So we got the I got to look in here. We got to change this screen. Got a fine screen. We don't want to grind that. We don't want to grind that hay. We. I will let you look in a minute, buddy. We do not want to grind that hay fine. Y'all see the difference in the streams? That don't grind it as fine. That's bigger sizes go through. Now how this feed mill works is that drives off the PTO of the tractor. There is big rubber, these big rubber belts come across and they turn what these, uh, I call them hammers. They're just knives that rotate on this thing and they need see how these are rounding they're supposed to be square they need they need uh they've all been turned at some points they really need all new knives in it but this rotates inside that screen and chops out hay and corn up now this is a hopper where you add your supplement Anything you want to mix in that you don't want to have chopped up. I like to mix mineral. I like to mix mineral in my cattle feed. 
it uh I mix it in according to the rate on the bag I think it really when I mix that mineral in that feed I know they're getting exactly the amount that they're supposed to be getting This big cone-shaped thing is the uh, tank that holds the uh, is the tank that holds the uh, product when you get done. And inside that tank is a big auger and tube, and that mixes everything. It down here at the bottom, it picks it up and it brings it up to the top, and it's doing it throws it around and that mixes the hay and the corn and the supplement all up so you got a nice even mixture so that's what the inside of the meal looks like we're not completely through this grinder is leaning to the side now i need to get up here and see how much uh, room was left in it but you see that tube right there there's an auger inside that tube and it brings it up and like this deal right here it slings it out and it's constantly mixing that feed. That's why we call it a grinder mixer. y'all can smell that it smells super sweet good you can uh, see how it's saying specks of corn your hay 
if I had a little better camera, you could see the little little bitty specks of mineral in there. But I don't push these calves super hard, but I normally get about two and a half pound of gain a day on them. On this feed. Getting the last little bit of fade out of that mixture, you yeah, know. There's always a little bit that hangs in the bottom. Anybody need some? Anybody need some cornmeal? Well, we're ready for a new set of calves. It's probably going to be the last year on my whole fader. She's done got the. She's done got the cancer pretty bad. We took a license plate and patched one hole. But it's been a good one. I bought it at an auction for little or nothing and I've used it three or four years now. So this is what I call the, call this the feed lot. They are, uh, this used to be an old peach orchard. It was my granddad's peach orchard. And uh, I just uh, never, I like the peaches, but it's a whole lot of spraying to have good peaches. There's our working facilities, or the catch pan. It's not really a working facility. Sorting, sorting facility. There's our old feeders that we used to use. They're actually in better shape than the bigger ones I am using now. Got a little, little, little gate here. You gotta watch. Make sure you don't hit the auger on the pole. But I got tired of mowing that peach orchard all the time. We was wearing a mower out and we fenced it off. Bought some calves to put out there. It's about, it's probably two acres total. It's not a lot out there. Whoa, you need to go button horns. Turn around Red, follow the rest of the herd. That bald is by half, by half idiot. He'll he'll be running through a fence here for long. We'll be having to get a horse and go rope him. Maybe he's gonna settle down there. If they go up there and find that feed, I'm pretty sure that's all they're gonna be interested in. 